is the ratio of cost price and MRP is 2 is to 3 and the ratio of discount and profit is 3 is to 2. Then find the profit percentage. Let us assume that the cost price is 100. This is an assumption. Okay, let us assume that the cost price is 100, which implies the MRP. MRP is nothing but the list price, marked price, right? What should be the marked price? If the cost price is 100, mark price should be 150. Since CP is to MP ratio is 2 is to 3. I am writing all the detailed steps, not required in the exam. Two parts is 100, which means each part is 50. Three parts will be 150. So, cost price is 100, mark price is 150. Now, the ratio of discount to profit is 3 is to 2. Discount to profit is 3 is to 2. So, let us assume discount is 3x, profit is 2x. 3 is to 2, right? So, three parts. Discount is three parts, profit is two parts. Then, find the profit percentage. Find the profit percentage is the question. See, we know that selling price is equal to cost price plus profit. Or it is also equal to mark price minus discount. Do that. So, I can say cost price plus profit, 100 plus, how much is the profit? 2x equals to marked price, 150 minus how much is the discount? 3x. That is the only equation you have to write. All the previous steps are not required. I mean, I am writing it for your explanation. You, get, you should straight away start with this equation. 100 plus 2x equals to 150 minus 3x. What happens? 5x comes out to be 50, x comes out to be 10. x is equal to 10. That's it. So, you know that the discount is what? Discount is 30 and the profit is 20. This becomes 30 and the profit is 20. What is he asking us to find out? Find the profit percentage. What is percentage profit? Profit upon cost price. Profit is how much? 20. Cost price is how much? 100 into 100. You don't have to write this step also, right? Just by looking at profit 20 and cost price 100, you should know that the profit percentage is 20. 20 rupees profit or 100 rupees investment. So 20 percentage is the final answer.